let's jump into another stroke analysis, Bailey. Your stroke is looking a lot more powerful from the last time we did a stroke analysis. We do want to dive into the left hand entry, sweeping across your body when you breathe to the right hand side. We can see here, as you roll your head to breathe, your hand drifts across your center line. It does cause your hip to push out to counterbalance this move. You then have to push your right shoulder down to get your hip, left hip back to center line. The second we cross over the center line in your stroke, the body's always going to chase with a counter reaction move. Most times it is the hips that we can see move from side to side. And this normally causes your feet to drift across the center line as well. We also want to dive into when your hand entry is across your body, your power output is heavily compromised. We can see here that your larger muscle groups are not really engaged. Effectively, you're just slipping through this push phase. When you breathe on the left side, you can see better recruitment of larger muscles and the hold through push phase is much better. Okay, let's dive into the runs where we change from breathing bilaterally to only be breathing on the left side. From the front, we can see straight off that we have a much more balanced stroke. Really starting to see this section as you place your hand in to glide to extension, clean up and be in a better position. It really is setting you up for a better catch position. From this view, we can see that your body roll is more symmetrical and that hip rock and feet drift are now more neutral. Okay, let's look on the water now. That glide and extension looking a lot better now. And we can start to see a surge in power from catch through to push phase now. From above, again breathing to the left looking a lot cleaner here. Last shot here, looking front on, clearly seeing the body roll correction and noticing the hold of water under your body looking nice. Great outcome, mate. 